Interesting piece of tech today, bone conducting sunglasses. These are the Viper V2s from Zungles. So sunglasses that double as like earbuds in a way. On paper, it's a really cool concept, but how does it fare in the real world? What's good, people? I'm Yeti Machete. Here we focus on tech reviews and tutorials. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We have an awesome community and I would love for you to be a part of it. So you can pick the V2s up in a variety of different color combinations. Now I really dig the white with blue lenses, however the ones here are matte black with bonfire lenses and it's a good look as well. What's great here too is that they don't look any different from your normal sunglasses so when you're out walking about nobody would have any idea that you're wearing a piece of tech on your head, which is a big win for me. Now, I'm the kind of guy that likes to fold up my glasses and hang them from my shirt when I'm not wearing them, and unfortunately, you just can't do that here with the Viper V2s. Well, you can, but you kind of end up looking like a fool because the glasses don't fold completely down. Now, this is a real design flaw and something that should have been more thought out when designing these glasses. Now, what isn't flawed here is the build quality. Zungle cleverly designed the hinge to pretty much be impossible to break. Unlike most glasses, the temple snaps onto the hinge instead of being screwed in. So whether you drop these or sit on them, the temple just snaps right back in. And because of that, there's no doubt in my mind that these glasses are built to last for years. What's really great about these glasses is the added functionality of being able to take hand-free calls as well as hand-free AI assistant. Now for me, that means Google Assistant and I can quickly activate that with a dedicated button located on the glasses. Now you're also getting dedicated media controls as well, allowing you to quickly change tracks and volume without ever taking your phone out of your pocket. The call quality on my end was crisp for the most part. The audio could have been a teeny bit louder, but overall I had very little to complain about. On the other end, however, the majority of people said I sounded muffled. Nothing was lost in the conversation. They could still hear everything I was saying fine, but for the price, I think the mic quality should have been much better. Four hours of juice and under an hour of charge time is what Zungle claims, and that seems to be about right with my usage case. And I can respect that due to the fact that these things are pretty slim. What I can't really respect though is the charge cable that is needed to charge the V2s back up. It's proprietary and that just means another thing to carry around, which kind of defeats the purpose of glasses like this. Now I'm sure it wouldn't have been too hard to include like USB or Type-C for charging. It definitely would have made things more convenient. Okay, so before jumping straight into the sound, you have to understand that these aren't like headphones or earbuds. You're not getting audio pumped down into your ears, so in return, you aren't getting like crazy loud bassy music. If you want that, look elsewhere. However, if you want the convenience and cool factor of these, then listen up. The Viper V2s use bone conducting technology. Now you have these pads that press against your head, close to your ears and these pads are what delivers the lows into your skull. Now it's not punchy though, uh, it's more like a soft vibration. It's kind of actually hard to explain, but the lows are kind of lost here. I wish these pads were able to deliver a little more bass because the music ends up feeling a bit flat. The mids and highs are fired down towards your ears through these small speakers. Which, yes, unfortunately, that does mean people next to you will be able to hear what you're listening to faintly. Now, thankfully, there is no delay whatsoever when watching video, which seems to be a problem lately with a lot of true wireless audio devices. Now, the audio as a whole sounds decent. Uh, it's nothing crazy or mind-blowing. It puts out just enough sound to hear your music while outside with all the other noises. 
Just don't over expect anything from the audio. You'll just end up being disappointed. It's there, it gets the job done, but that's about it. So while the audio is lacking, having the option to play music, take calls, and use Google Assistant straight from my glasses while being able to hear my surroundings at the same time is so convenient. And to me, that's the main selling point here, convenience. Uh, whether you're an avid outdoorsman, a cyclist, or you just wanna cut down on what you carry and don't need crazy good audio, these are gonna be great for you. They're really unique, really cool, not perfect, but as a tech enthusiast, I can respect innovative tech like the V2s. Now, if you wanna check them out, I'll leave a link down in the description for you. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button, drop a comment. I always love hearing from you and interacting with you. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button twice. Let me know what I could have done differently. If you haven't yet, check out some other content. Consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it greatly. I'm signing off. Catch you guys in the next one.